UX Hong Kong in, in Hong Kong, but um, I didn't really know much about it. And then there was lots of publicity, uh, the emails, the website, uh, and the, the speakers. Actually, you get a diverse range of speakers that come from everywhere, which is really nice. You get a, a balance of the West and the East, and you get to see what's happening everywhere, which is a great experience. I think uh, one of my favorite part is uh, it's probably the uh, on the afternoon yesterday afternoon when there are uh, four people from four different countries uh, come together and tell them tell us about uh, how UX is uh, doing in their own country uh, and give us some general idea about their uh, their country um, like we have people from Japan from mainland China from Taiwan and from Singapore. Uh, well, these countries, I, I well, even though I, I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm uh, around this area, but still, I, it's really nice to hear people from inside that country tell us about their story. It's really nice. Friendly and very open. Uh, I also I think it brings a lot of new thoughts to the people working in Hong Kong, which are, we are not quite familiar with. I think this is a good thing. Um, I think how, how you can make your work or your task fun for yourself but also for people who are either working with you or participants who you are researching. Um, I think that is the main takeaway. Keep it, keep it fun, interesting um, and enjoyable. As soon as you lose that then it becomes this kind of dogmatic process and uh, I think as long as there's creativity and flexibility in what you do um, that's really important it makes every day different basically 